In this video, we will see how we can compare two arrays to see if two arrays are exactly the same thing. So in this case, you can see I've declared two arrays, numbers one and numbers two, and you can see that they've got exactly the same values at the same positions. Okay, so in this case, we could go and say if numbers one is the same as numbers two, and then print out if they are the same, we're going to send, we're going to print out they are the same. And if they're not the same, we're going to go to the else and we print out uh, they are not the same. Okay, so let's look at the logic of this one quickly. If we print it out and we run it now, I'm just let's just run this one. Uh, otherwise, still running the the previous example. So if I run this one now, you can see they it says they are not the same. So the thing here is you can see the two arrays are exactly the same. It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. But when we test using the double equal sign operator there, it will say they are not the same. So remember the same as with strings. If you try to compare objects with a double quotation, sorry, a double equal sign, then it means that you're comparing the memory locations of these two objects. And that's why you cannot compare using the double equal sign. So essentially in memory, this object gets created somewhere and the memory location of it will be stored into numbers one. This one gets created somewhere and the memory location of it will be stored in numbers two. But where they get created is two different places, although the values they have is exactly the same way. So that's why we cannot compare using a double equal sign there, because the double equal sign is comparing whether their memory locations are exactly the same thing. So if I do this now, if I say that one is equal to numbers one, then it means that I'm essentially copying the memory location of numbers one into numbers two. So if I run this now, it will say they are the same. So why are they now the same? Because I've copied the memory location of the two. Okay, so numbers one will point to this. And numbers two will point to know what number one is pointing, and that's also the exact same object. So I'm pointing both now, numbers one and numbers two is now essentially pointing to the exact same object. So if I change something in numbers two or change something in numbers one, it will go and make the change to the same array. Just go back and get back to that value. Right, so there we've got the two arrays again. So this is the wrong way of doing it. You cannot compare two arrays by using the double equal sign. So how then do we compare two arrays? So in order to do this, I'm going to use a Boolean variable and I'm going to start this or we'll call it arrays equal. And let's set this one to true. So we're going to assume that the two are true unless we can prove otherwise then we'll set the value to false. And I'm also going to need a counter there or a variable, my loop control variable, when we're going to use later on to, to test for the values. Okay, so I'll need two variables, arrays equal and then an index value to, to basically check every value inside of the arrays. Right, so step number one is let's test if the two arrays are of the same size, because if this one is can only store three values and that one can store five values, then we already know that the two are not the same. Remember, when we're testing two arrays, it's not, it's not, you're not going to always see what values are inside of them, because then it's easy to just decide whether they're the same or not. So we first need to go and test then if the arrays, if the length of the two arrays are the same. So in this case, we're going to say if numbers one, dot length that will give me numbers one dot length will give me one two three four five that will give me a length of five if numbers dot length is the same as uh, numbers two dot length okay so in this case we're testing whether the two lengths of the arrays are the same but because we've got this arrays equal variable to true, let's make this test not equal. So if they're not equal, we're going to set arrays equal to false. So this is step number one. Step number one, checking whether the two lengths are the same. Now it's going to give us this uh, condition is always false because we've got two hard-coded arrays. But let's say you got this arrays from somewhere else, from a file or wherever, uh, then this is the way you're going to test this. So we check, check first whether the lengths of the two are the same. If they are the same, then we can carry on. We're going to go to a while loop and we're going to test for this arrays equal. So if the arrays equal then was set false here, we will never enter this while loop at all. So I'm going to use an and operator here. 
so I can step through the array but also not get into the array if the array is equal or set to false. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to say while arrays equal is basically true and also the i is less than one of the length of the two arrays. So I'm going to say numbers one dot length because at this stage, if arrays equal is still true and it enters the loop, we also know that numbers one dot length and numbers two dot length is, is exactly the same. So whether you use numbers one dot length here or numbers two dot length, it's the exact same thing. So let's look at the loop control variable here. You can see there we set the index value to zero. So that's where we're going to start in the arrays to compare values. So what we want to do in this while loop now is to compare, to check is the two equal to the two? Is the four equal to the four? Is the six equal to the six? And so forth. So we we'll be comparing positions here or index values. So I'm going to start the index off at zero. And then I'm going to test to make sure it's less it's less than numbers dot length. This is essentially the same that we're doing in this for loop here in the in the previous video. We start at zero and we go up until numbers two dot length. So this is also what we're doing here. We start at zero and we go to i less than numbers dot length. And then somewhere at the bottom we must say i plus plus. So then you can see we're essentially doing the same as this for loop that says we start at zero. We test for that value and then we increment again. And that's exactly what we did here. We're just using a while loop. And now why am, why am I using the while loop? Because I also need to test for this array equal. So this while loop will run while array equal in the first place is still set to true. If it's false, it will never enter this while loop because of the AND operator there. The AND operator says both sides must be true. So this must still be true. It's still equal. And at the same time, it must be less than the length of the array. Okay, so what do we do then inside of this while loop? I'm just going to do a simple test there to say if numbers, let's start with one there. Uh, and then we're going to go to that specific, sorry, numbers one. Go to that specific index value and test both of them. So obviously the index is going to start at zero. So I'm testing now if numbers one's value is not equal to numbers two at the same index and if they're not the same at that specific positions we will set arrays equal to false again and then uh, this will also cause the array to stop then because then the next time it oh sorry not the array the while loop to stop when it goes back to the while loop and it tests for array equal it will see, see it's false now and stop the loop from executing so this while loop then it enters with while the arrays equal is still true and it runs through every element so it's going to start at zero and compare numbers at position zero numbers one at position zero if it's the same or not the same as numbers two at position zero so if the two is not the same as the two we'll set arrays equal to false then the loop runs again if the four is not equal to the four we will set it to false if the six is not equal to the six and six and eight and eight and ten and ten we're going to compare them the whole time and if just one of these values are not the same we set arrays equal to false and it will exit this loop and then at the end of the loop we can just go and test this arrays equal variable so i'm going to say if arrays equal and remember by saying if arrays equal is essentially the same as saying equals true there but because it already gives you a true or a false value you don't need to do that so i'm going to say if arrays equal i'm going to print out they are the same and the else there will be when they're not the same. So there's something wrong there. They are definitely not the same. We're going to print out they are not the same. So let's run this quickly. And after running it, you can see then that it says they are the same. And it, obviously they are the same. We've got the values there. So let's just change one of them there. And I'm going to set that one to a 5, which will make them not the same. So the first test, you can see that they are not the same printed out. The first test there of checking whether the lengths are the same will be true. So it will enter the while loop, check first the twos, see it's the same. But when it checks the four and the five there, it will see, ah, they are not the same. So we're going to set arrays equal to false. When it try, tries to enter the loop again, that part is false. The loop will exit. And then this one will not be true. So it will go to the else part and it will print out. They are not the same. So obviously, if you've got two arrays there and the two arrays are are not sorted, you will need to sort them first before doing this specific test. But this is how you can compare two arrays to see if the two values are the same or not.